Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome once again to my YouTube channel, Esoteric Cloud Surfer here, ready to start another spiritual astrological video, ready to take a ride in Esoteric Cloud, which is a lighter, less dense, and also vibing on higher frequency and vibration vehicle. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, y'all. In comparison to the bodies that we are using right now, as in mental, emotional, and physical bodies. So when your spirit, your space, jumps into that uh, vehicle, into that creation that is lighter than the actual creations you are in right now, it can fly, it can flow to higher, more expanded, wider and wiser realms of reality, so you can have a better perspective and feel lighter about yourself and your current circumstances as well. Before we start the video, remember to check my link tree and Miss Tari's link tree in the description down below. Shout out to her. There, there we go. There we go. Shout out to the whole soul group and to everybody out there changing the world right now. Shout out to the Archanger Uriel. Shout out to my Pokemon Unite team Unique Stars. Let's go, let's get it. And uh, remember you can book uh, readings, services, uh, consultations with me using the email down below, as a 69 at gmail.com and you can also donate uh, to me via PayPal using that email or you can go to my Patreon page which I'm currently working on so you can support me and Miss Aria directly and get access to more content. So today we are here to talk about a current transit, Venus in Pisces. So Venus right now is in 5 degrees Pisces at the moment I'm recording this video so it's already into Pisces, we're already feeling that extra love because Venus is exalted in Pisces, Venus loves to be in Pisces, everybody loves Venus in, Venus in Pisces, but overindulgence is everywhere, at, at every corner, alright? So you might overindulge in whatever area of your life Venus is, aka okay, in which house you have Pisces in your chart, right? So if you have Pisces first house, you will indulge into personal relationships or you go extra deep into sharing your personal insecurities with somebody that doesn't really care about it and you create meanings and reasons and feelings to justify it. If you have Venus in the eighth house, you can, you can be having sexual relationships with somebody that doesn't really care about you, but because Venus is in Pisces, you create, you absorb from the world meanings and reasons, feelings, dreams and illusions why and uh, how that relationship makes sense to you at the moment and it's the best relationship ever if you have Venus in the sixth if you have Pisces in the sixth house which is my case right now we can be overindulging into our routines and patterns or we can be overindulging into running away from those routines and patternings and just the fact that we are doing things in a more spiritual way uh, we, we need to separate we need to rest I need to meditate for a whole week I can't uh, address my responsibilities right now because I'm taking care of my spirit. Okay, so we can go into those la la lands, we can relate super easy, super fast. Things that don't make sense look like they make sense, things that make sense look like they don't make sense. So you need to have a strong judgment, right? You need to be a bit more hermetic, a bit, a bit, me, a, a little bit more closed off, aka using the Virgo energies to balance the energies. Instead of being so mutable water, sharing so much emotions, relating so much your creativity, the things that you like to do, the things that fulfill you, the things that you you give, that you receive pleasure. Instead of relating so much your business, your your spirituality, right? You should be a bit more hermetic right now, a bit more closed off, and rationalize and analyze, make sense out of those relationships and circumstances before you open up, and then once uh, that people, place, or thing, or energy has gone through your checklist, they're gone through your mental filter, then you can go all in, then you can overindulge because you are doing it in the right area, all right? So just a uh, basic warning, Venus is exalted in Pisces, so the things that you love right now, they might, be not, they might not be the best for you, they might be destroying you, but on the, other, on the other hand, if you don't go and get fulfilled, if you don't go and get those tasty things, if you don't go and go to relate and open up right now, you will never do in such an open, easy, fluid, spiritual way. So do it right now, but first or meanwhile, use the Virgo energy, a bit more hermetic, making more sense, 
uh, instead of relating your feelings, relate your stability, relate how to organize, relate how to look in a certain way in order to achieve something in your life. And then if those people agree with you and they relate in the same real logical way with you, then you can go in. Because if they don't understand your message, if, they, if your Mercury does not connect, if your internal side of Mercury does not connect, there is no way that that Venus in Pisces relationship will be benefit, beneficial for you. It can feel good, it might feel high, you might get high in some conversations, get high while, while watching them, high as in literally just from the relationship, just from the conversation, all right? And you, get, might, you might get literally high with that person or that group of people and you feel a strong connection, but in the, in the end of the day, they do not support you, they are not the foundation, or they do not agree with you at the mental and logical level, and they might be joking with you behind closed doors. But if you do this in the right way, you'll be able to go high in many levels with those relationships because you have made a checklist, you have analyzed them, and you have checked them or not, and then you can go all in or closed off, all right? So, Venus in Pisces is like a bit crazy. Uh, love, love is everywhere. Everybody heart is open. Everybody mind is open. Everybody chakras is open. So, you can... Like, I don't want to feed the mouths of the empaths right here, but you can catch other feelings and other thoughts right now if they express them to you because many empaths they be like oh i'm in the room i'm catching all the vibes and all the energies yes but you are doing that through your own filtering system so if you feel in a weird way you are being the weird one right but there is a thin line between thinking that you receive all the things in the room and actually doing it, and you receive it when others express it to you, verbally, through actions, through, uh, verbally and through actions, or through works, through creativity, through compromising, and things like that, right? So, if they do that, if they express, if they do something for you, then you'll be super open, super vulnerable, and super gullible into agreeing or go into that same space. So be aware of that as well. Don't get lost in your dreams and illusions or others' dreams and illusions. It's super easy to fall, fall for that. It's super easy to fall in love, and we should all be rising in love as well, right? And pretty much general, it's this, okay? Love everywhere. Uh, lostness, la la land at every corner, but if you balance it out with the Virgo energy and you find the right relationships, you, right, you, find, you find the right places and things to overindulge with, you, you'll gain a lot of emotional connection, emotional fulfillment, spiritual relationships, exchanging thoughts, ideas, dreams, creativity, imaginations and visions with people that they understand you, they relate with you, they celebrate your imagination, your creativity and your individuality. If not, just be hermetic, don't overindulge with the wrong people, places and things, aka people that they don't make sense and you can't make sense out of them, all right? Because it might be, it might feel super good right now, but just don't go with the flow, stay above the waters, okay? In this case because the flow in Pisces will lead you everywhere uh, and can take you out of your way and it might seem and feel that you are on your way and you are way off your way all right so let's go to the astrological analysis of the present moment Venus in Pisces is fatally attracting the Sun in Aries and Mercury in Aries but Mercury is 29 degrees Aries in the Taurus cusp so it's fatal attracting and sextiling Mercury, right? So Venus in, Venus in Pisces, fatal attracting Aries. It means we are seeing and we are, we are expressing and we are acting in a different way, in a more unique, in a more realistic, in a more passionate way towards our relationships that uh, makes us feel dreamy, uh, they accept our craziness, they accept our flunked outness, you can laugh together, but right now you, or somebody else in that relationship might be acting in a more real way like come on 
Step up your game. You're not achieving anything. What you doing with that energy? Yes, we are here talking about the. Uh, we are here talking every day about our dreams and illusions, but we we ain't doing shit right now. So that might happen right now, or you might not. You might be super passionate into the dream instead of somebody instead of you or somebody else uh, being extra passionate about being realistic and getting shit done you or somebody else in your relationships might be super passionate and super active into going deep or deeper into the dream realm so be aware with that and then venus in pisces fatal attracting mercury in aries so we are we are thinking and communicating in a more uh, external, in a more masculine, in a more expressive and passionate way about our relationships, dreams, illusions and imaginations. And also we are starting to feel and to uh, attract via our relationships opportunities to manifest, to fixate, to see, to attract, to build your dreams, illusions and imaginations via relationships that value your dreams, illusions and imaginations and through relationships that feel they feel comfortable or they make you feel comfortable, secure and fixed in your current situation while being in a relationship that achieves or in this case a spiritual ship because it achieves a spiritual growth and a sovereign, stable, financial, physical, 3D life as well. Okay, because that, that will be the extreme, uh, the best balance. A spiritual life with a solid financial, physical structure to support your experiences, to make you able to jump into your creativity or to make you able to experience whatever you want to experience without feeling the need to do something first. But if you plant bad seeds, that's what you're going to receive from your relationships. Limits, boundaries. Uh, changes out of nowhere because Uranus is in Taurus, uh, instability, people that make you in a box instead of supporting you, instead of them being uh, stepping blocks, they are limiting blocks. You are inside of the block instead of being supported by the block. All right? And they will do that with analyzing, making sense, worrying about stability, uh, worrying about if tomorrow we have the desires that we like to enjoy and we like to fulfill with, right? Then Venus in Pisces is also fatal attracting Saturn and Mars in Aquarius, right? So we are feeling more dreamy, more connective, more uh, seeing more of the potential and wanting to believe, wanting to have faith with reality, with relationships, teammates and partners and associations in the real world, in something that you are building when it comes to your personal business or personal projects. And we are uh, adding a more realistic, a more logical, a more communicative and a more dry and unique uh, perspective on how we look at those relationships and how we uh, judge them uh, real or not. Is that association real? Yes. And does it feel spiritual? Does it feel dreamy, juicy, Pisces and creative? Even better. But if it's not like real and if you feel you can't build with them, you, you probably it's better for you to not go there. All right, but it's like a fatal attraction is all, it's like always hearing your loud members and you can't really do much about it. So those relationships might be coming back to your business, to your plan, your structure, and you have to show Saturn, you have to use your Saturn to be like, no, 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 or yes, 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 because you might be too closed off, you might be too logical, you might be too realistic, you might be misunderstanding how to balance this Venus in Pisces with the Virgo energy and be too stubborn, be too uh, detached and separated using the Saturn in Aquarius energy. And also, we are relating in a more dreamy, more emotional, more receiving, more sharing, more flunked out and more La La Land way about our unique, about our... Uh, new and original passions, motivations, associations and team action, team environment where you might get 
a bit more passionate, you might get a bit more invested into associating, sharing your ideas or being a part of a team. Right now with Venus in Pisces, that process will be smoothed out. You might be sharing things that you thought you, could, you, you wouldn't share with them before, they might just slip out of your mouth. So pay attention with that, you might have some alignment in the 8th house and you sharing something that likely might perturb your sense of privacy and internal structure. But it's positive because Mars in Aries can get too dry, can get too masculine, can get too uh, bossy and too uh, challenging, too pressuring, too hard. Now Venus in Pisces, because it was in Aquarius, right? And now it's in Pisces, it's bringing a way more pacifist, way more connective, way more chilling, way more... I just feel my throat chakra, it's like I'm drinking a juicy ass water, right? And just that feeling, you know, that will be present in your... in areas of your life where you were feeling passionate, you were feeling super let's go, uh, when it comes to associations, teamwork, or just friends in general. Then it's conjuncting Jupiter and Neptune, so you might love your experiences, even if they shit, even, even if they are destroying you bit by bit, you are loving your experiences, you might be loving your dreams, you might be loving your illusions, loving your nightmares, you, you might be in a nightmare relationship, but you love it, you might be in a, a nightmare workplace, but you love it, so be careful with that, but if you have a solid and supportive relationship, you can expand that, if you have a solid and a creative and unique and uh, that can go very far away as in spaceship dreams, illusions and imaginations, you can expand on it as well. And lastly but not least is sextiling Uranus in Taurus and sextiling Pluto in Capricorn. So we have an opportunity to change how we support, to change how we value and to change how we attract relationships that support and cater to our dreams, illusions, imaginations and nightmares. And also we have, we have opportunities to share and relate our traumas, powers and control issues that we feel we couldn't resolve or they traumatized us or they uh, made us feel insecure in a certain way. So aka opportunities to dissolve, to that let go, to share with the world or the close ones around you or to share with the world and people that don't give a fuck about you you, 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 feel, you just feel so caring, you feel so healing that we will share flunked out moments that yes, they helped you heal but people outside, outside, they don't need to know that so be careful with that that's why I'm saying that we can use the Virgo energy which is training Uranus and Pluto right now to balance so you show, you do this right? You heal, you share testimonies, experiences, feelings of the past that transformed you, how you heal generational curses. You might be those type of people that would hurt you physically or emotionally or mentally via cutting substances, being stuck in toxic relationships and you now you are out of it or you are realizing that you need to change that but you don't need to share that with the world. Find somebody that they really support you. They really see where you're coming from a spiritual level into the 3D level and share that with them. Maybe they are going through the same or they went through the same or in the near future they will start going through the same process as you and then you can overindulge and you can, you can go all in into that healing, spiritual, uh, emotionally communicative, communicative and expanding relationship and you can come out super stronger out of these moments moments of fragility because Venus in Pisces, sextiling Uranus and Pluto, it is a lot of change and transformation, a lot of instability, power and control issues, a lot of change and a lot of fast changes, super accumulated that can feel traumatic or painful. All of that can happen like this, can happen in order to heal you, can happen in order to wake you up from a nightmare, in order to make you realize that that illusion is an illusion and you might thought that that dream was a dream and it can actually work out. So Uranus and Pluto can uh, summon vessels in your life to be like, hey, you were investing a lot of time in that, that's an illusion. And you've been thinking and imagining about that and that can make you money or that can make you attract the right teammates in your life. So be aware of that. 
use very well this Venus in Pisces energy, go all in in the right relationships, go all in in the right desires, go all in in the right creativity and uh, spiritual matters, as uh, spiritual connections, soul group, spiritual uh, sp uh, rituals and spells. How you know they are the real and the right ones for you? Use the Virgo energy. Real, before you relate spirituality, feelings and emotions, you relate as kind of a test, you relate to reality, business, organization, routine, pattern, how do you, what do you have in mind, what, what do you want to achieve right now, I'm achieving this, what do you think about it, can we help me, do you think we can do it, do you think I can do it, and if all those check-ins got checked in, then you go all in, and until it's not tomorrow, then you can fall in love, because you are doing it in a spiritual way, you are doing it to expand your horizons, you're not falling, you are rising in love because we are living backwards here. Many people outside in the world is using their spirit for their elements. If you are a spiritualist, you use your elements for your spirit. So if you fall in love in the right way, you invert and that fall is a rising and that's it. All right? So yeah, Venus in Pisces is basically don't uh, rise in, rise in love, don't fall in love. Till the next time, shout out to Misaria, shout out to Soul Group, shout out to Uriel, shout out to my Pokemon United team, Unique Stars. Check the links, support the channel via like, subscription, donation, or book a reading with me and Misaria. And I see you in the next time as a trade class surfer, surfing out.